All right, so how y'all doing boys? Hope you're well not today. Today we are back and yet for another Margaret showcase. We're done with the Kusak showcase for the time being, and we're here to use her alongside Escanor now. Um, I feel as if though this is a showcase I probably should have made a little while ago. Um, I feel as if though when you're showcasing like a new lead unit, um, Escanor is one of usually like, you know, the first units that come, you know, to mind. But, um, we're here today. I do actually plan on using the red and green Escanor alongside as well. So do expect those in the future. But, um, uh, what are we rocking? So typical crit and attack gear, um, pretty good rolls on them. And when it comes to the costumes, he is fully decked out. I mean, when it comes to PVP, PVE, literally any content in the game, you can almost just chuck this man in there and he just does ridiculous. Um, if you guys don't know what Escanor does um, for his passive, basically on the turn three and four, he gets debuff immunity. Also does some like, you know, little passive stacking there with some like percentages that go up. But um, his first skill here is a flood skill, insanely strong card. Um, it increases, uh, inflicts flood damage equal to 200% of attack on one enemy. Flood is 0.8% additional damage for every HP you have. So whenever you know you're fighting an Escanor and you want it, if you want to make him do as little damage as possible, just try and make him as weak as possible. It really stops this card from doing insane amounts of damage. But for his other card, uh, just a typical attack card. I mean, no modifiers or anything on it. It still does ridiculous amount of damage. I mean, this man is just a glass cannon and a half. And this passive really helps save him. Like... He's insane. I'm sure you guys have seen it all before, but uh, when it comes to his ultimate skill, um, Divine Sword Escanor, we do have him 6-6. Six, six. Um, basically, it just does this 180% damage on a unit, and then if the unit dies, it does it again on another unit. It only stops at the two stacks, but man, it's just insane. I mean, I'm sure most of you know what Escanor does by now, but um, running alongside the Margaret, we are running a attack crit set on the Margaret and Death Pierce in the sub, just to try and get as much out of these two gear sets as possible but um haven't actually used this team off camera yet and let's jump right into it here we go and let's see it. our first team is a full archangel team and we are getting out cc'd as well i feel as if there's a recent it's been a lot more plays with that 300,000 cc but um i'm actually super keen to see how you know Escanor does alongside margaret and keen to see how well the green Escanor and red Escanor also do now i know you know the one being the newer version he's definitely going to do better than them but I still feel as if though they definitely do have some use and especially in this meta I mean green Escanor being green type advantage against Margaret and the fact that he has that buff removal is super super important and look at that almost losing Gotha right off the bat um, I mean since Gotha's definitely gonna not die next turn I do want to use the rank up and just get it out of the way but um, you know, with that buff removal can be super, super useful, and the debuff removal from, like, his passive when he gets the max ultimate gauge could be really good. Um, Red Oscanor as well, super good. He has the Amplify card, doing more damage with the more buffs he gets, so obviously Margaret giving out, well, like, five buffs will be super, super helpful for him, and the one just being a crazy unit, just in general. Um, and look at that card draw, god damn. Um, yeah, I mean, I doubt, so, uh, you know, Gotha can survive even one attack from anyone here, but... Um, we'll see, we'll see. I might actually just end up rushing the ultimate fast kind of right away. Like, I know he does have the ult gauge removal from Tamiya, which is annoying, but at least wastes one of his cards right off the bat. But look at that, Gotha actually surviving there, goddamn. Um, thank god he wasted that sorry ult card. That, that card can do some insane amounts of damage. The power strike, one that ignores, like, the resistance. Especially on JP at the moment, they've had, like, a new bird raid. Um... The Power Strike card is just the absolute MVP for that raid, and um, here we go, one, two, and three. Actually, didn't have to merge any cards there, and... Excuse me? He's taking that little dam- There we go, there's the damage we like to see, gosh. Um, that's the only thing with Estenor, if the man doesn't crit, he, he, his damage is just basically unexistent, and that's the worst thing, like, if you're not using him alongside, like, a crit support, he can just do god awful sometimes, but when he shines, he is just an absolute demon, and I mean, in PvE content, especially where, like, you know, enemies typically don't have the highest crit resistance, um, man's gonna just absolutely go off, and I'm surprised he actually wasn't, like, one of the better units for this new final boss, Estorosa and Zelda, so, I mean, Margaret and, you know, Barn is the ideal team, which makes sense. I mean, they are the new hot thing, but, um, let's see. What's he going for here? Another Margaret buff. I'm guessing he's obviously going to remove the Escanor ultimate and maybe throw out a Tamiel stance by the look of it. Oh, no. Okay, so that's the end of his turn. Um, we do definitely want him. I mean, we can't kill him regardless here. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to think, what do I want to go for? I mean, 
we can't kill Tommy on no matter what we do here, so I'm thinking if we just try and kill Elizabeth. Um, really wish we could have that flood card first, the two star, just get her as weak as possible, but kill Elizabeth, get rid of the revive, and then try and maybe proc it again. I mean, with the Elizabeth buff, she's naturally going to be super tanky, but there we go. So yeah, that was probably the best play we could have gone for there. Um, just kind of have to have our uh, fingers crossed at the time, y'all. isn't like 6-6 and just absolutely nukes us. Um, actually, with the Margaret summons just being out, I did do one summon off camera, um, and did get the final dupe I needed for Tarmiel, so our Tarmiel is also 6-6 six, six now alongside the Sariel and Ludo, but um, unfortunately only 2-6 Margaret, which is a shame. Uh, I also got my free summon actually for the Kusak, I'm sure you guys also got that as well, and yeah, a bit unfortunate there. But no, like I was saying, um, we did actually all get our free summon for the Kusak banner, and I did get another dupe for him, so... Man's 4-6 now, and ooh. There are so many good plays we could go for here, but I'm just trying to think what's best. Um, see, we can use so, like, we can get so much extra damage from this card. I'm trying to think whether or not it's worth it to just go full send on Barn here. We'll give it a shot. I mean, if we triple crit, I definitely reckon we could. It's been so long since I've used Eskinor on all honesty, but yeah, look at that. The Barn team, Eskinor. Oh. Eskinor is just so good against the Barn team, it is ridiculous, and look at that, due to the fact that he missed one of those crits we didn't kill, but that's alright, um, getting those Margaret cards will definitely finish off Barn even with the gift, but, um, what was I saying? Yeah, no, we did get our fourth dupe in Kusak, which is super big shame, I wish we had been able to use some of that luck on the Margaret banner, but it's alright, I mean, I have plenty, and when I say plenty, I mean, like, I have, like, ten Assault Melee coins, um, if she comes back around in the shop anytime soon, we can just buy her out. I'm also looking to buy out Barn, because once again, we didn't get the luckiest on the Barn summons. I know, both the festivals are like insanely good, we did terrible on, but, um, one, two, and three. I know this isn't a Margaret showcase, but this being the best hand possible, I'm just going to use it regardless. Damn, that really didn't kill Barn there. Hmm. That's alright, I'm hoping we can get an Eskinor ultimate off in this one, because if you guys haven't seen what a 6-6 ultimate can do from Eskinor, it is ridiculous. I mean, like, I'm talking maxed out 15% barn, level 3 flood card, he can just one tap. And then the death effect goes on to the, like, another character, and I doubt any character can get as high HP pool as barn can at the moment, but, um, hmm. Let's see, he rushed the, oh no, just didn't rush the Eskinor ult. Um, hmm. Looks like he's killing the Eskinor there. Um, just survive. I mean, that's ideal, but, um, just trying to think. I might actually end up, um, I don't know. we'll go for the Margaret here, and, yeah, unfortunately, couldn't get any Eskinor cards. That's nothing we could do there. Um, that way, whatever happens in this next turn, we should be able to kill with the Margaret ultimate, worst comes to worst. But no, I mean, definitely a good team. I mean, when using Margaret and the Gotha, I definitely feel as if they're using like a second DPS. Probably isn't the best idea. Like you can really use anything, don't get me wrong. Whereas like when using the Barn team, you know, you typically want to use him, Arthur being the duo, you know, just like these two here. And the third unit, you usually want to be a DPS because like, I know most people like to use like the green, the red green one and whatnot, but I just feel as though like at that point you have so many bad cards in your hand. It can be almost like impossible to win, but um, if I attack here, I lose the ultimate. Um, honestly, I think this might be the best play because if we AoE into the Arthur um, and then use the ultimate, it'll just remove our ult gauge and then we won't get that ultimate. So just ranking up and going for the double AoE. I doubt this will kill Eskinor. Never mind, what am I saying? Margaret's ridiculous. Um, there you go, look. Because we killed Arthur, obviously we kept the ultimate, but there we go. Easy clap, onto the next match. Here we go, and a draw Margaret team. I'm actually surprised we haven't seen this team more. And we are getting out CC again. I might actually have to look. There's no way we should be getting out CC with units I have this built out. I mean, maybe one of my associations is missing gear or something, but did actually get the good starting hand, which is nice. And hopefully after this, we can get some extra Eskinor merges. But <clears throat> uh, one thing about actually using Eskinor against this team here is those resistance buffs can really take a toll on like your, your you know, you actually critting, but um, yeah, chucking up the heavy metal there, that's fine, we can just wait that out, but, um, I'm not sure, maybe he wasn't thinking about the play as much, but using both of those cards there, both of those are just going to get completely nullified by the fact that, like, we're only throwing out buff cards this turn, and the dissolve's just going to get removed from the Margaret buff, which 
to this day I still find crazy that they gave this car like uh like debuff removal. I that is insane to me, but um there we go and please some Eskinol mergers. Yeah, that's alright. Um if he doesn't have like another taunt here, we should be able to wipe his Margaret. I mean regardless of Evie even has like the buff, but um, maybe if it gets like a petrify or something and can, you know, take out one of our DPS for a turn, might be a bit problematic. Um, let's see. Rushing Gothrol, by the looks of it. Another Dissolve. I don't, I don't think I've seen any Margaret cards, at least, and it doesn't look like she's going to do an attack. Unfortunate. Uh, petrifying the Eskinor there, but, um, hmm. Trying to think, should we? I mean... I don't want to. I don't want to have you know Margaret steal the showcase, but oh, that was actually a lot less than I expected. Um, hmm. and then yeah, those are just gonna do even less because of the resistance buffs and whatnot. God damn. Um, hmm. Eskinor's not gonna tank this as well either because he doesn't have any of those buffs. But um, hmm. Yeah, you see, that's the thing. Like, if you don't go first with Eskinor, if sometimes it can feel like it can take so long to get that like uh, you know, debuff removal passive, but. Uh, the immunity, sorry, but, um, there we go, cleansing himself off of there, throwing out the go through ultimate, I'm guessing he's putting up a heavy metal, but, um, hmm. yeah, I really wish he had of, um, you know, petrified the Margaret there, that way we could have at least, you know, shown off the Eskinor cards as well, but, there we go, and, bit of a, hmm, there we go, one, two, and, I mean, if those two cards don't kill, Actually, I'm just going to play it safe. I'm going to throw out the three of them, because whenever I seem to downplay Eskinor... Okay, never mind. He completely threw out of the park. I was ready for him to not kill with those two cards there, but here we go. Nothing we could do either there. Um, Gotha is an absolute just tank, and always has been. The fact that they gave, you know, Gotha as good a substats as they did, I still find ridiculous, but... Um, can we please maybe get one more Eskinor card? Sweet, thank you. Um, that way we can get the... What is it? The ultimate to finish off this match, but um, I might actually try and keep both of these alive. That way we can show off like the full death effect and whatnot. Really don't want. To, I really wanted to have the Margaret buff up there for the ultimate, but that's all right. Um, here we go. I don't want to kill Eskinor either, but I want it to be super low to the point where. I mean, <sighs> why not? We'll throw these two out and then we'll just move the ego the card. But I doubt those will kill, right? Yeah, no, sweet. They won't kill. Um. <clears throat> Here we go, that'll make his flood card do as little damage as possible, that way we can't kill us. And hopefully we get the crit on Eskinor and, and on Gotha to show it off, but... I'm surprised it's actually taken us this long to even get, you know, an ultimate, but... I mean, that is the thing as well with them, sometimes you're just killing that quick that... All those ult levels are really just counting towards your CC, and... Thank God he didn't crit us there, I mean, you can see there, these three star cards... Oh, are you kidding? He forfeited, there's no way. And I mean, if they keep up with this in, like... These crazy high amounts of CC, we might have to push back at the, you know, other Eskinor showcases a little further in the week. That way, I mean, I did actually try doing, I think it was a Blue Demon Melee showcase right as like the weekly reset happened. And my oh my, did I just get stomped every single match. Um, I will actually throw out the Margaret card first there, the buff card. But yeah, no, I still definitely want to do that team. I feel as if though, you know, when Barn originally came out, you know, Blue Demon Melee didn't stand a chance against, you know, being used at all, but um, now that we've waited out a little bit, and that is very nice. Um, yeah, no, now that we have this Margaret team, I feel as if though he does at least stand a chance, and we should be able to get a couple wins with him, but... Um, there we go, doing the same thing there. Um, I think I might actually merge the Gotha Rank Cups, that way we can get some two-star Eskinor cards as well. Build up the Margaret passive up a lot as well, and... Um, hmm... I mean, yeah, I know I say this all the time, but um, the only thing about Margaret's, you know, I mean, if she had it as well, she would be absolutely insane, but um, the fact that she doesn't have that, like, you know, passive healing that Barnes, you know, gift card has, um, so, so strong, but there we go, getting all of our buffs up there, and let's see it. Um, do I have the Margaret uh, ultimate as well, which is, I mean, he is in a really bad spot at the moment. Uh, and that's the thing, like, going first, I mean, look at this next turn as well, the debuff immunity will kick in for Eskinor, so don't have to worry about the dissolve again and I mean there you go look I mean he was kind of forced to there and I'm thinking I might actually that is a lot of buffs on Eskinor um one and two I mean as long as Margaret's dead 
it's basically a win unless he has like a sinner on the back or something um but yeah look at that 500,000 and please don't go for growth lock sweet no worries here we go look at that i mean you get those gold cards and he just rips through teams and i mean even without the buffs margaret should still one tap maybe not gothar actually no we should be able to get the crown gothar so she should be able to one tap still i mean when she initially came out i looked at this ultimate i was like why would you give like her a sever ultimate but like now that she's been out for a while and we've been able to you know play around with her um definitely makes sense uh just giving her like barnes crow resistance is absolutely insane and that's half the reason why i gave it to her but just being able to like actually create units like gotha actually you know seals off the deal basically and look at that absolutely clapped him here we go and the final victim to the Escanor team uh, another draw and super low cc i was expecting yeah using the green draw as well i mean Definitely, like, <sighs> Green Draw definitely does well in this meta. I mean, his AoE card, the buff, like, the uh, buff disable card is crazy good. I mean, using it against that team there basically just seals off everything except for the Margaret Attack card. But, um, yeah, he just, he doesn't really have a team so much to say that goes well, like, at the moment. Just, like, <sighs> he's a little bit of an old unit, which is a shame. He's definitely one of my, like... Probably like my, my top five, definitely my top ten favorite PvP units. Um, do prefer him a little bit over the blue draw as well, but I know he does really well. I feel as if though, you know, like I know I say you can use any unit alongside these two, but maybe not so much green draw. I don't know, that's just me. But um, gosh, if only we weren't just trying to showcase Margaret here. Her passive would be built up so much. We'd just be able to instantly throw off this AOE card and win. But um, hopefully we get a rank up and can you know. Rank up that Escanor card a little bit more. Um, would still like, actually, I don't think we've got enough any ultimates, in all honesty. Um, did get the rank up as well. Did we? No, because I think the guy forfeited right before we managed to get that one off. Just goes to show that, you know, Escanor kills things so quickly that you, by the time you've used, you know, those, what, five cards to get his ult gauge max, the match is over. And, um, definitely a little bit problematic there. Um, we'll go... One and two. I mean, surely the surely the Margaret card doesn't one tap roll on the side there. Um, look at that. No crit and still getting rid of the Gotha. And does she do it? Yeah, look at that. Margaret is just... Let's put Escanor aside for the moment. Margaret is insane. Absolutely just too much to handle. But um, we'll rank up this Escanor card and get this Death Pierce done with. But, um, gosh. Uh, did we actually... I think... I think we lost one uh, one of the matches in today's video, but that's right. And off on a high note, let's quit this death piece and get done with. But um, just before I finish as well, still only have a one six army go though. So so sad, but look at that six hundred thousand. There we go, and that just about does it for today's showcase. I mean, really good team. I mean, I'm sure if you guys have summoned for Margaret, this might actually be the team you guys are using today. But um, did really well. I'm still surprised we have such low CC. I was definitely expecting at least two ninety, but. That's right. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please hit the like button, subscribe. Really means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys for some more Grand Cross content.